Vyan exhaled out of boredom as the professor kept on teaching things she never understood. She was losing focus and getting sleepy as the time passed by. Overall, she had good grades, but she had a serious problem of losing focus mid-lecture. As she looked at the time and the bell rang, she yawned, stretching her arms and got off the table. Vyan, someone called her name and she turned to look at the person. Hi, Nico said as he walked to her with his one hand in his pocket. He was a handsome guy from her class who had eyes of many. Vyan, hi Nico, did you need something? Nico, can I talk to you for a moment? She looked confused but nodded. She took her things from the table and picked up her bag and the two walked out of the room. Nico, how's the studies going? I saw you dozing off. She chuckled a little, scratching the back of her neck. Vine, it gets boring sometimes, you know. Nico, extremely. The two laughed and Vine almost hit the corner of the locker. But Nico was quick to wrap his arm around her and pull her to other side. She was baffled, her eyes wide, and took her a moment to understand what happened. Nico, be careful. Vyan, oh, um, thank you. He removed his hands off her and took a step away. One look around the hallway and he found no one. Vyan, what was it you wanted to talk about? Nico. Ah, uh, that Vyan. He pursued his lips and got quiet for a moment. Nico, I'm sorry, I don't want to come out as a creep, but you got my eyes since some weeks. I really want us to be something. I have really started to like you and admire you. Can we date? He said, Somehow confident because he had a lot of hype in his class. He knew he was a secret crush to most of the girls, which was true. Vyan, Nico, um, are you serious? This is not a prank, right? She looked around to see if there was any cameras or his friends hiding somewhere, but his voice took her attention back. Nico, no Vyan, not at all. What makes you think that? Yes, it is. They both heard a voice and turned towards it. It was Jungkook. Every single person in that school knew him. He had a hype of almost a celebrity and power like no one else. Whatever he said would be fulfilled. His handsome face and charms always got his way. People were willing to do anything he said. And if not, then they were scared that his fans would haunt them forever. As much as it annoyed Jungkook, he also got his ways most of the time. Jungkook, and even if it is not, you are rejected. Nico, excuse me. Jungkook walked to Vyan and wrapped his arm around her waist, pulling her to him. Nico, the hell are you doing? Jungkook, complaining what's mine. You have a problem with that? Vyan, Jungkook, what are you doing? She whispered, putting a hand on his chest. He hushed her and shifted his gaze towards Nico, his eyes drilling holes in his sockets, and he was ready to throw hands if the dude didn't step back within the next three seconds. 
Nico, I thought you were single, Wyan. Wyan, no, I'm sorry. Jungkook, what are you sorry for? She pinched his back, hiding the action from Nico, which was a successful move. Nico had a hard time trying to adjust to the bitter truth, but he looked away eventually and walked off. Wyan, didn't you say you want to keep it a secret? You liar. Jungkook, you want me to keep it a secret when a dude is proposing you? No thank you. Plus, he doesn't know we are married. Wyan, well, okay. You revealed one secret, I revealed the other. She winked and pushed him away walking ahead. Jungkook, Wyan, no, baby, please, stop. He went after her. And before he could get to the crowded area, he pulled her in an empty room, pinning her against the door. Wyan, no, you let me go right now. Jungkook, let you go? He whispered and leaned in, near her ear and bit her earlobe. I don't think I'll ever be doing that. His voice came out more of a whisper, deep husky voice which sent shivers down her spine. Jungkook, you know well why I want it as a secret. Wyan, you're one jealous human being. I see you getting crushed by the whole school, even including boys. But one guy breathed around me for five minutes and you lost it. Jungkook, it will be out now anyways. And I'll break anyone who comes after you. Jungkook originally hid the idea of them together. Because of the bullying cases and the extreme lengths of jealousy, people suffer. It was not with Bayan all the time and he would hate if anyone ever tried to hurt her behind his back or bully her to leave him. It has happened to girls whom he hardly ever talked to, and they ended up getting bullied. You see, being popular is not really fun all the time. About marriage, they hid it because they wished to announce it when they are officially married, with a great ceremony, dressed in wedding outfits, walking past the altar, and kissing in the middle of the stage. to fulfill their dream. It was a court marriage in front of their families, who agreed easily. But it was dreamy, how they almost every night talked about the ceremony and made plans of how to make it grand. Jungkook was never going to spoil it for a mere moment, especially when he knew how much Wyan wanted it. Wyan, won't work. No? He smirked and started leaving his slow, wet kisses down her neck. His hands encircled her wrists and he pinned them against the door, right above her head. Jungkook, you know peaches, it works every time. He sucked at a point aiming for a hickey and earned a whimper from her, and she arched her back. He loved how she reacted to his touch every time. His smirk turned into a shock when she bit his shoulder and suddenly pushed him away. She winked and walked out of the room. Jungkook let out a hot chuckle as he watched her disappear from his sight. Jungkook, I love this girl for a reason.